Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today is day five of Pinkoween. So today we're gonna be doing our very first video that is a costume idea, and that is why my hair is plastered to my head because I'm gonna be wearing a wig, and that's also why I have on black eyebrows. So, um, the first costume idea was submitted to me by my friend and subscriber, Lorna Cunningham. She also has a channel here on YouTube, so I'm going to link that up in a card below and in the description box, or card up above, description box down below. And if you want, you can go check out her channel and subscribe to her. She's really awesome. And she asked that I do a female vampire look because she is going trick-or-treating with her grandkids. Um, and they asked her to dress up as a female vampire. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get started. So first and foremost, I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow base, and I'm gonna use the base that I got in my BoxyCharm. This is the Luscious Angel Eyes. And if, I feel like I say this in every video, but if you see something on my hands, um, I earlier was, I had put on my brows already, Few minutes ago and I was wiping something on my face and I wiped some of my brows away which my brows um, I used an eyeliner and it's by Arden CN and it is very pigmented and it doesn't come off very easily so even though I washed my hands and used a makeup wipe I feel like I still have like you know stained hands and stained fingers. I think that's going to be the theme this month because I've also been pre-filming a bunch of videos and um yeah so at uh, any given time I've got like water activated paint and oil based paint and something something on my hands. I was going to get my nails done with my mom. Um, I still haven't gone, but I'm still going to. But I can't decide if I want to wait until after I finish filming the um, looks that get, you know, the looks like these that have, like, a lot of, like, colors involved because I don't want to ruin nails that I paid for. So um, I'm going to be going in today with the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I keep it in its little case. Um, if you haven't seen the palette, this is how it opens. And then these are the colors inside. Pinks, purples, and reds, which I think is perfect for a female vampire. You don't have to have this palette, but just anything with these types of shades. If you want to recreate this look, if not, that's cool too. So we are going to go in first with the shade Cam root canal and a little bit of cavity. I'm going to mix the two together because I can't decide which one I want to use first. So we're just going to use both. And I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. This is the JH30. And I'm just, wow, so pigmented. Just going to plop that right in there. And then we'll put in our tape. And this obviously is going to be a very dramatic, very crazy eye look. I'm trying to make it so you can see what the heck I'm doing. And it's okay if it goes on to our lids because we're going to put a different color but in the same scheme down there. I've gotten a couple of good ideas from you guys of what you want to see in terms of some video ideas. So if you have anything else that you want, I think I have one more slot, maybe two of videos that I haven't filmed yet that I want to do it like that today. Where should I put it? Okay, my hair is sticking up. There we go. Get this out of the way. I need all the space I can get. Um, hold on. This 
one more, a little bit more like that. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go back into the same brush and I'm going to go into the shade Prick, which is this bright red. And I'm just going to put that right over where, where I just was to brighten it up. And you also don't have to use, obviously, the same shades that I do if you want to use a different scheme. But to me, I think female vampire, think black, red, purple, pink, that family of colors. Thank you guys so much for all of your support on my last video and thank you especially to the people that watched it that don't necessarily believe in the supernatural and still watched and supported and commented something very nice that really really touched my heart okay so now I'm just gonna take before I use this brush for something else I'm gonna take Glucose, which is the white shade on this flat shader brush. And I'm just gonna pop that under the brow. That's very powdery, so it just got on my crease. So it's okay. We can fix it. I feel like my brows are bleeding into my my look. I bought that eyeliner because somebody, Jaclyn Hill, said it was the most pigmented black that never goes anywhere. But not everybody's waterline or skin is the same. So for me, it it goes places. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Coma, which is this dark purplish burgundy shade on the same fluffy brush. Cause I want it to be a very blown out look and I'm gonna go on the outer V and I am gonna go over top of this with black I think the blood sugar palette is one of the best palettes that has ever been released The other palette that I think is one of the best palettes that's ever been released is the Manny Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette. Those would be my two palettes of 2018 at least, if not of all time. Okay, and then I'm going to dip into the Creepy Cute palette, which I used fairly recently. It's this palette right here. And... Oh, it's a strong magnet. I'm going to use the black shade in this palette called Void right there. And same brush. You also don't have to have these brushes by any means. You guys know that I use um, Wet n Wild brushes a lot. I just am using these a lot because I just got them. I also use Morphe brushes a lot, but Wet n Wild has the best, one of the best blending brushes ever for 99 cents, so really can't beat that. Even though Morphe has good prices, they don't have 99 cent good prices. And I'm keeping it low enough that you can still see the red a little bit above. Okay, so now we're going to go into a pigment that I have from Inglot. This is called Pure Pigment Eyeshadow 81. They don't have cute names like a lot of brands, but it's like a metallic burgundy with like a reddish pinkish shift. 
And I'm gonna take some of the glitter glue from Too Faced, just cause that's what I have on hand. NYX has the best glitter glue in my opinion. And I'm gonna take this flat shader brush, clean it off real quick, and just use it to kind of stamp on the glitter glue where I want that pigment to go. Which is in the inner corner. And I'm gonna do both eyes because it's a good idea to let the glitter glue get a little bit tacky. It'll actually hold your glitter or your pigment much better that way. And because this is like a glitter pigment, um, I mean, it's a pigment, but it, it has a lot of sparkle. It's very metallic. I do like to use a glitter glue for it. So, and then I'm just using the same brush to stamp it on. And you can use any metallic shade that you want. I'm just going to put on some more. And I'm probably going to put on some glitter over top of that, but we'll see. And I'm knocking off any of the excess. And I don't swipe it, even though it's like a pigment eyeshadow, I pat it because that gives it the most pigment and the least amount of fallout. I am by no means, by the way, um, the type of makeup artist that does like, you know, special effects, makeup and all that stuff. I would love to take a class on it and get into it more, but like the people offhand on YouTube that I can think of that are the best at it is Raw Beauty Christie, Alex Faction, and Jordan Hans. Those are the three, um you know, I guess bigger beauty influencers that I've found that are really good at it, so. And one of my um, subscribers, Kristen, she does um, really good uh, special effects type of looks as well. I will link her channel as well as the others in a card or somewhere, either down below or up above, or both. So now I'm gonna go back in with the glitter glue, put a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm just gonna wipe off that brush real quick. Hi, Sophie, she's upset. And then where the black and that pigment meet, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the glitter glue. And then I'm going to go into the Violet Voss Rose Glitter, which looks like this, which I'm going to tell you right now, I bought it after Lady Gaga did the Super Bowl, <laughs> and she did that all glittery red look, and I was like, um, I don't have any red glitter. So I bought this one, and then I ended up getting, while well, I was waiting for this one to come in the mail, I ended up getting the NYX one which works just as well but this one was the first one i found so here we are and i'm just putting like a line of the red glitter okay so that is what it looks like so, now we are gonna move on to our foundation and then we can do our lower lash line after. Oh, and glitter just went everywhere. As it always does when you use loose glitter. That's why I prefer those Stila, whatever, whatever's magnificent metal glitter and glows, but I don't have a red one, so. 
All right. I'm going to take off this fallout, which is mostly from the black shade. Kind of got my eye. Suki, what are you doing? Okay. And then foundation. So to me, vampires are usually very pale. So I have a foundation mixer. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Total Control Drops in the shade Porcelain, which is very light. It comes in a dropper. I'm just going to drop it on the back of my hand and hope it doesn't go everywhere. Oh my gosh. I'm so thin. And then I'm putting in the NYX White Foundation Mixer. I know I'm already very pasty, but... I want it to be extra, extra pale. This was like maybe $4 and it'll lighten any foundation, but it doesn't change the consistency of the foundation, which I like. Put in a little bit more. I mean, it might make it a little bit thicker, but it doesn't change like the finish of it or anything like that. So that is what I've got now. Very white. <laughs> um, Put what's on my fingers on the beauty blender, beauty sponge, whatever. This is the one I got from Marshalls. And then I'm just gonna blend that into my skin and I'll be right back. I'm just gonna finish doing it off camera just because of time. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that I am even paler than normal, um, we're gonna have to set all this so i'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution um it is actually called the ghost luxury baking powder um this is gonna get messy but i also have a pressed powder that i'm gonna use i just like floating up it looks like smoke okay so i'm gonna take that same sponge into this very white powder and i'm just gonna stamp that i'm not gonna use concealer i don't really feel like i necessarily need it in this case it's okay if i have under eye bags because i'm supposed to be dead right or undead i guess and my concealer is definitely darker than this powder or the foundation. So I'm just gonna put that all over. Also, uh, Wet n Wild at the grocery store and at the drugstore has like a white um, face paint like wheel and you can use that for sure as like, it's like a cream product and you can definitely use that as well um, for your foundation. Now I'm going in with the Stargazer powder in white. This has some found, like some remnants from other powder, but that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go in with this giant um, brush and just knock off any of the excess powder. The Total Control Drops foundation is not my favorite. I actually prefer using it with a brush, which I forgot. Bring some down my neck. Because I feel like it gets a little bit patchy when you use it um, try and fix it um, when you use it with a sponge which I did not remember until 
it was too late. Alright, so now we are very, very, very pasty. Alright, oh, and I've got powder all over my shirt. Okay, Whew. I almost ripped my necklace. Okay, so now I'm going in with this. This is called Tranquil, and this is a contour powder from Sephora, and it is very cool toned, very like a very dead girl glam type of uh, shade. You can use an eyeshadow if you have one. That is like a taupe. And I'm going to use this to kind of, okay, that, there, to fix that. I'm also just not used to seeing my face like this. And I'm going to put on too much because I can, because it's a costume. Okay, I didn't really need, there we go. I'm like, I didn't need that much on the nose. Okay, and now we're going into my BH Cosmetics blush palette, and I'm going to use some of these reddish rosy tones and my Wet n Wild blush brush. I think I said this in my last video, but that's the one thing that the um, Jaclyn Hill palette is missing. is uh, some, like a real good blush brush. So I'm gonna put on extra blush. Well, actually I'm probably putting on the same amount I normally do, but because I'm extra white, it looks extra crazy. Tone it down a little bit in a minute once I blend it out. But I just feel like this is the look. Clean up the contour. Okay, I don't want it to look muddy or dirty. I just want it to look. Okay, uh, where did this top even come from? Oh, that's from the powder. I was like, where did this top come from? So for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with two. I'm gonna use, this is from Wet n Wild. So a couple of years ago, they came out with a bar of gold highlighter type that was kind of like a dupe for the uh, Charlotte Tilbury bar of gold and then now that Charlotte Tilbury has come out with the palette they came out with more shades so this is the shade winter bloom looks like this and it is like a white uh hold on let me turn this off it's like a white goldy shift almost there you go there you can see it better so I'm gonna use that with my Royal and Lang Nickel Highlight and Glow brush that I just dropped. Hold on, clean it off with my color switch. Okay. And then spray my face first. Especially since my face is so white, I'm going to need all the help I can get in terms of highlighter. It's just my rose facial toner spray. All right. That's another reason why I wanted the blush to be really kind of heavy so that 
this would show. Mm, mm, mm. It's so pretty. I don't know about the rest of the makeup, but this is pretty. I almost mixed in like a sparkle powder um, with everything else, but then I was like, hmm, I don't know. I just don't know. All right, now I'm taking this little tiny Morphe smudger brush, the M213, and I'm gonna put that right in our corner. So, I'm going to be doing a video coming up very soon with the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival palette. If you haven't seen it, oh my gosh, wait till you see it. But then I just found out that Mama Mitchell is coming out with a collaboration with Be Perfect as well. And he is amazing. So I will definitely be purchasing that. And I'm going to go in with the Fenty Gloss Balm. Gloss Balm? Diamond Balm. Sorry. And I'm just going to spray my face again. I don't want to get the highlighter wet though. Let's wait for it to settle. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of put that over it. It just takes it to the next level and makes it really shimmery. If you don't like glitter, you're not going to like this. But I love this so much. Not so much on my forehead. I'm going to put too much. Okay, there we go. And a little, all right, there we go. There we go. All right, now I'm going to take the liner in Black Bean from NYX. Sophie's growling at something. This is a new one. I actually got it because I was at CVS and I saw a display for NYX Halloween looks, and they had Rob Beauty Christie and Alex Faction on there and I realized that I have a black from NYX but not black bean and I was like well Rob Beauty Christie's on there and she uses it all the time so I just went ahead and got it oh and I got these spider earrings there too they're like rhinestone which I figured I would wear for this look especially And I have like a bunch of rings on and I have on my bunny page spiked uh, rhinestone heart, which <clears throat> I have a new necklace coming from them. That is amazing. And I'm just going to go into coma and cavity, which is the hot pink and like the dark burgundy mixed together and put that right over top of that black and you'll see the necklace bunny page if you have never heard of bunny page check out bunny pages website if I can find if I think to do it I'll link it down below she is so talented and but all of her jewelry is like kind of gothic ish and very um like everything is made with like crystals and um you know spiked hearts and all that stuff so she has some hearts that are not spiked um but yeah her stuff is amazing okay and then we're gonna put on mascara I have something on my eyeball. Ew. 
Okay. My eyes have never been overly sensitive to the point that I can't like, just stick my finger right in there and get something out. I can't watch other people do it though. That grosses me out. I'm gonna put on my one coat of my Bad Gal Bang mascara. I need to brush away some of this fallout. Got a little bit of fallout under the eyes. Okay. And now. I'm going to do my lips first. I'm going to take this. This is the one I sharpened. My Lancome black lip liner or eyeliner. the long guys here um and then i'm gonna take one of my favorite red liquid lipsticks which is from ColourPop in the shade weapon no little weapon it's a very red red i'm gonna see what's going on i'll be right back okay so I finished my lips and I used Jeffree Star's Cherry Wet right in the center over top of it a little bit and just mix it in. I am going to take my NYX Vivid Brights liner in red. Actually, it's called Fire. I'm just going to take it and do this. Just do a couple of drops as if it's blood and then you can like sound it out just a little before it dries and I'm going to go do the finishing touches and I'll be right back I just wanted to show you really quick that I just went ahead and I put on some Ardell 601 lashes really fast. And now I'm going to do the finishing touch and then I'll be right back. 